CPE stands for carbapenemase producing enterobacteriaceae and they are a family of bacteria that have acquired resistance to a group of antibiotics known as the carbapenems. And that's important because the carbapenems are one of our last resort antibiotics, one of the ones that we use when other antibiotics are not going to be effective. An outbreak generally means that you have sustained transmission of a bacteria or of a virus that is not coming under control promptly and with appropriate control measures. Royal Columbian is one of our largest and busiest hospitals and patients who come there are very sick or some of the patients who come there are very sick and sick patients are more likely to become colonized with this bacteria. The other issue at Royal Columbian is that it's an older site and we have a lot of multi-bedrooms and it is always harder to control the spread of bacteria when patients are staying in multi-bedrooms. It is and was inevitable that we would see this in British Columbia and particularly in Fraser Health. These bacteria have been emerging worldwide for over a decade in various parts of the world and in Fraser Health we serve communities with strong ties to parts of the world where these bacteria have become endemic. So it is inevitable that patients from our health authority will travel to these countries and in some cases bring the bacteria back with them. So we knew it was just a matter of time before we began seeing it in our facilities. As soon as we started detecting the bacteria at some of our sites, we introduced screening measures which essentially consist of asking patients whether they've received health care in parts of the world where these bacteria are known to be common. We started with our highest risk sites and are gradually fanning out to all of our sites uh, beginning with the high-risk ones and then moving to the lower-risk sites. CPE is um, transmitted through, in medical terms, the fecal-oral route, but what that means is if someone goes to the bathroom and has this bacteria uh, in their colon and doesn't wash their hands, then the bacteria end up on surfaces where other people can pick them up on their hands, and if they eat without, without washing their hands, they become colonized as well. Most of the time there are no symptoms of CPE. Patients start off being colonized with CPE in their bowels. Remember it's a fecal oral spread. So the bacteria uh, come to live in the bowel and can stay there quite happily without causing any symptoms for the patient. However, if the bacteria move to other body sites where they're not supposed to be, like the lungs or the bladder or wounds, they can cause infection. And once a patient becomes infected, it would be like the symptoms of any infection of that particular site, but the problem is the difficulty in finding an antibiotic that's available to treat it. If the patient becomes infected, the symptoms will last until an effective antibiotic is found to treat it. I would like to assure you and the public that Royal Columbian is a very safe place to receive care. Visitors and patients will be kept safe. The patients who are affected by the outbreak are being cared for in a separate area of the hospital where strict infection control precautions are being taken. The most important thing for visitors to the hospital is to make sure that they perform really good hand hygiene. That means washing your hands when you enter the hospital and when you leave the hospital and every time you use the bathroom and before you eat. If you can't find a sink with soap and water, you can also use alcohol-based hand rub, and there are stations all over the hospitals that, uh, that contain alcohol-based hand rub. It will be at least another month before we can declare the outbreak over. This bacteria moves relatively slowly, which means that it takes a long time, several weeks, to know whether someone who has been exposed has become colonized with the bacteria. So we will not declare it over until we are quite certain that all transmission has stopped and that will take at least a month and it may take even longer than that. I am very confident that it will be able to contain this outbreak. It already appears to be on the decline, but it has taken longer than we wanted and longer than we anticipated to slow down the transmission. And so that is why we are taking the additional step of calling an outbreak and putting extra control measures into place.